You see this right here? That's right. My channel has turned one year old today. From the 20, 20 it's now the 20th of May 2024. And my channel was created on the 20, the 20th of May 2023, meaning that my channel is now one year old. Thank you guys, thank you guys very much. Let's get started for, for one year of my channel. Now let's get started with the video. For the first best hand drawer, I've chosen the black and silver Mitsubishi Jetile I1 at Bella Vita in Glasgow. I've chosen this because these drawers look amazing in white and they, they last for a ridiculously long time and, they, and they're a perfect combination of fast and quiet. Here's the video of it. For the second best hand drawer, I've chosen the Graphite Accelerator Accelerator Eco at an undisclosed location. Um, I've chosen this because these drawers look fantastic in graphite and they dry the dry hands extremely well and um, they're, in, they're incredibly efficient because they drop down from 1400 watts to 500 watts when the, without the heating element. Here's the video. For the third best hand drawer, I've chosen the Medicanix MacFlow Plus at the Delhi in Boldmere. This was an absolute. I've chosen this because this drawer dries my hands extremely well. These, um, and it was they're in, they're extreme. They're very rare. Um, even with yeah, much but much rarer with the um Medicanix branding. Even this one's branded as Medicanix and not Dry Flow G Force Mark Two. And um. And they have um and they have low and they have more features, um the the more the much more interesting than the original Mac Flow. Also, uh, one thing that's really good about the one thing that's absolutely amazing is that these drawers, both of these in both toilets, replaced SM forty eights between now and January twenty twenty two. The people um the people here knew exactly what they were doing, in terms of hand drawers. Because they replaced really slow and crap drawers with with drawers that actually dry your hands extremely well. So well done, um, well done to Delhi and Boldmere for for making the right decision about hand drawers here. Anyway, here's here's the video of the dryer. For the fourth best drawers, I've chosen the Love Air Air Fury C Run branded Hotwang HKJ04 and a Love Air branded Hotwang HKJ04S at McDonald's um, on Chester Road in Eddington. It this I've chosen these drawers because it's um, the they do a good job at drying your hands and it's nice to see two slightly different variants of the HKJ in the same toilet together. Unfortunately, though the HKJ04S um, was not as powerful and, and loud than usual as it uh, as it was either dying or had a severely blocked filter. I originally thought that it was on a lower setting, um, but UK hand dryers told me ages ago um, that the that it was either dying or um, it had a severely blocked filter or a dying motor. So thank you UK hand dryers for reminding me that. Um, I know the I know it's like that because McDonald's don't seem to do maintenance on their on their dryers. Um, I don't 
but they're really should in order for them to work properly. Same goes with um, Tesco, Asda, all them places. Um, they should just like do maintenance on the dryers to just make them work properly. Anyway, um, nevertheless, it's still nice to see two slightly different variants of the HKJA together. Here's the video of the dryers themselves. For the fifth best uh, dryers, I've chosen the Goodwin Pebbles at the Lower Region Crescent uh, Toilets at the Traffic Centre in Manchester. I've chosen these dryers because these dryers, um, they're making them, they have a really cool sound when in use. They have an animation on the um, on the plastic lens on the front, um, which is also pretty cool, really cool. Um, they, they do a really good, they, they do an excellent job at drying your hands. Uh, and they have a HEPA filter. Um, this is um, these dryers um are also um they're also really good replacements. They replaced Air Dry Classic Plus Mark Twos, um in twenty twenty two. Um, hand dryers by M was the first first person to film the dryers. Um, but yeah, um, here's the video of the dryers. For the sixth best drawer, I've chosen the Valtia V7 Tree Blade at Wren's Kitchens on Ventura, Re at Ventura Retail Park in Tamworth. I've chosen this because this drawer has a very modern design. It has a HEPA filter, uh, it has anti microban, um, and it also tells you by an audible alarm and a visual alarm uh, to change the HEPA filter, which is um which is it's good because um. It will let you know when the HEPA filter is full of all the um, all the bacteria and vi viruses that you don't want in your environment. Um, and it also does a really it does a good job at drying your hands. Um, sadly, these aren't that common. I wish they were more common. Um, but anyway, here's the video of the dryer. For the seventh best dryer, I've chosen the initial World Dry Verdi Dry at Pepe's Piri Piri in Wild Green. I've chosen this because these dryers are very rare. They do a good job at drying your hands. They have a HEPA filter. Adjustable, adjustable. Um, you can adjust the speed, the speed, uh, but not by a dial, just by like a switch of high, medium, and low, just like on the Smart Dry. Um, it, but it, it's not as. It is good that you can do that, but it's better if you have like a dial, um, to put it to your own um like noise requirement, like the noise you want it at, basically. Uh, but you you can't. That's not the case on the Verdi dry or Smart dry. You just have to, or the Mitsubishi Jetta, um, IO one, um, Mini or UO two. You have to like switch, like put it onto like a switch, switch it down instead of using a dial. 
on the 8th June, Jack told us a Doyle. But anyway, um, this is about the dryer uh, that I'm gonna, that's going to be coming up in a second. Um, it's just a shame that these aren't that common. Um, I, th I think the um, the the original Verdi dryer is discontinued. Yeah, it is. It was. I think it was discontinued in twenty twenty. Um, and it, I just hope I'll find the V two. Um, loads of members in the hand dryer community will find the Verdi dryer V two. Or um, as PHS Warner Howard called it, the Air Force Slim. Hopefully they'll start popping up at some point, as none have been none have been found yet. Let's just hope we find them one day, uh, one of them one day. But anyway, here's the video of the dryer. For the eighth best uh, dryers, I've chosen the white Dyson Airblade ABO Freeze at the Walkabout Pub in Litchfield. I've chosen these because these dryers aren't too aren't really that common in white. Um, the grey ones are more common. The, the, they have an awesome sound and they dry your hands really well. It's just a shame that Dyson have discontinued these in, in favour of the DB and Mark II. Uh, the Mark II first, then the DB. Um, yeah, they just they just should have kept them in production. Same with the um, Airblade V ABO8, and they shouldn't have discontinued that in favour of the HO2. Um, and it's the shame about the disabled dryer here. It got um, it used to be an Elf Compact branded Medicanix um, primer, but then it unfortunately got replaced with a PHS Warner Howard SM48 branded Sarah. Forgot the forgot the mo the model name. Um, but um, Noah, hand dryers by N, um, to be more specific. Um, he told me the model number, but I forgot what it was. But anyway, um, that's me talking too much again. Let's just um, here's the video of the um white ABO freeze. For the ninth best dryer, I've chosen the PHS Well Dry Smart Dry in the right, um, the right radar uh, locked except uh, disabled toilet at Touchwood at the the Crescent Crescent Two Arcade. Uh, I think it's just Crescent Arcade um, at Touchwood Shopping Centre in Solihull. Um, unfortunately, the gent dryers, um, which I've explained before. Um, in the Jubilee Walk, of three of the smart dryers in there, one still remains, I think. Um, three of them, unfortunately, got replaced with a Turner branded Zinder GSQ 250As. I would be absolutely fuming if they re replaced um, when they're all, uh, when all three of them were still working, as three smart dryers breaking is unlike unlikely. Um, I think the ladies um, in the cloister walk, um, the toilets um, in the gents where they had ABO 8s now replaced with a blue dry dry, which the one on the left now has been replaced with a um, AK2901, IKK2901 branded as Stream Hygiene Durham. They used to be smart dries now, and I think about one or two of them was out of order. I think there was four smart dries, but now they were, I, think they've been I think they were replaced with Air Forces and a, a HO2. Uh, now I can... It when I was last there, I heard a HO2 and an Air, either an Airstream Pure or a Vitex. A relative told me that it was uh, it was a silver HO2 and it was a silver Airstream, but I forgot if, if it was an Airstream Pure or Vitex. Um, um, I think there's only... I wonder if... Um, but yeah, I wonder if the disabled next to this one um, still has a smart dry. Um, has a smart dry as well. I think it does because it doesn't show it on accessible. 
but given that it's next to this disabled toilet it most likely does have a smart dry but if it's open next time we will definitely film it For the, for the tenth um, best dryers, I've chosen a combo, um, which I've spoke about in my end of twenty twenty three video. Um, it's the H Hotwang HKJ one branded as Ventaxia, uh, and a Mitsubishi Jetel U O two. Uh, next next in Tamworth. Um, this com I've chosen this combo because um, I've chosen this combo because it has um, these dryers. Um, they're both very modern. And they um they dry your hands very well. I prefer the Mitsubishi Jet Towel though because it's it's more hygienic. But it doesn't I don't think it has a HEPA filter, I think it only has a mesh filter. Um I don't, um but um I'd say the HKJ dries uh, slightly quicker. Um but unfortunately recently, just over two weeks ago, this dryer the HKJ has unfortunately died. Um and it's likely going to get replaced with a silver UO2, um, as UK hand dryers told me. Um, so, yeah, um, but it's still going to be, it's not going to be too sad, but still a little bit sad because it's a, it's nice to see a bit of a different dryer other than a Mitsubishi with a, another, with a UO2. But still, it's going to be, it's going to be a good replacement because it'll be, it'll be cool to see a Mitsubishi a uh, Jetel Euro 2 colour combo. But anyway, here's the video of the combo. Now we're going to talk about what I've achieved and want to achieve in the future. Um, what I've achieved now is I've changed my camera quality for, for my vid, my dry videos um, to 60k FPS. Uh, four, I mean 4k 60 um, 60 FPS um, to improve the quality and the uh, the videos are much better quality now than they were before due to that. I also... Um, um, what I want to achieve in the future is I want to try and find like more like more rare and interesting dryers, like the I'm gonna I'm gonna explain some dryers that I want to try and film in the future. Um, I want to try and find a Mediconics Mac Flow Plus, a Dual Flow Plus, a um, I want to try and find a um, some more Verdi dryers. Um, there's some in Glasgow, um, at Xscape, uh, I mean, not Xscape, Xsite, um, which I couldn't film when I went last time. Hopefully I will next time I'm there, because there's some made in November 2018 there. Um, hopefully I'll get a chance to film them one day. I also want to try and find, uh, an American Dryer Extreme Air, as they're really interesting, um, and very rare. I've heard good things about them as well. Um, I've heard on, um... I want to try and find the CPC variant because it has cold plasma technology. The CPC was discontinued in 2020, I think. Um, uh, hand dryers with Splashy has filmed an extreme air um, recently. Um, but yeah, hopefully I'll find one in the future um, because they're really interesting, like I said. Um, I also want to ask places for broken dryers. 
because I might because I want to repair some drives. I want to I want to ask if I can keep them, um, for when I'm older and I want to repair them, and I'd love to own some hand drives as well, because um that's the whole that's like the whole point of being an enthusiast, um. If you're like if you're a hand drawer enthusiast, you you might want to own some hand drawers as well. Um, uh, when the accelerator eco breaks down at BP on Penn's Lane, I'm going to ask them if I can keep it, um, so I can try and repair it when I'm older, because I'd love to own like some like interesting drawers like the accelerator, for example, um, or maybe a Hockwang HKJ as well, maybe a smart draw. Um, it might. Um, instead of me just like buying them off eBay, um, it's n I don't think it will cost money to ask places for broken drives. I don't think it will, to be honest, um, because it's um because the dry is broken and um, but they're just getting a re and they're getting a replacement for it. Um, but anyway, that's it for the what I've achieved and want and want to achieve achieve in the future. And here's my most popular videos, with the most popular being the the GSQ the Zindi GSQ ninety one branders of Ante and PHS Air Force combo at Dobby's in Shenston. Here's some of the other popular videos as well. Right then, before I end this video, I want to give shout out to these people for supporting me, uh, for supporting my channel throughout the year um these shout outs go to hand drawers with splashy lift enthusiast 2020 uh oft lift enthusiast 2020 uk hand drawers drawers by l hand drawers by n um ddj um random stuff by noah um and um other people as well i want to give a shout out to you guys thank you very much for supporting my channel. Alright, I hope you enjoy this video. Thanks for watching. And thank you for one year of hand drives around the UK. Thank you very much for watching. See ya.